Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to learn about, modeling, different nozzle types and style, in PV Elite software. Our flagship courses are, Master Static Equipment Design, and PVE Lite, ASME Section 8 Division 2, and Master Welded Storage Tank, as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform for more details on scutoid.thinkific.com. Let us uh, create a tilted nozzle. So the nozzle which we have provided, that is a radial. So instead of radial, I'll say angled. Now, what is the tilting angle which you, can, you want to provide? Let us see 45 degree, half tilted. So see now. You can see that color also changes. 45 degree tilted nozzle. Now, can we apply WRC on that? If it's tilted nozzle like this, can we perform WRC calculation for this tilted nozzle? No. Okay. Tilted nozzle, we cannot provide because WRC is applicable for perpendicular intersection. Remember that. Great. Now let us uh, try to change it to tangential. Okay. So if I want to make it tangential, let us go to the layout. Okay. If I are having any issue with nozzles, select the layout. Okay. Now, which one you want? We have already made the angle one. Now let us make the hillside okay. or the tangential, which you are calling. Okay. So if I select this option, I have to give alpha and also the offset value. Okay. So let us that nozzle is at zero. Okay. And then you have L value. The nozzle offset we can have uh, this is 1100. So let us keep at 500. Okay. If I say okay. Okay. Then I say, okay. You can see this is now a tangential nozzle. See the difference in angled and tangential nozzle. Now let us uh, change back to radial and try this self-reinforced nozzle also. So let us take that radial nozzle and I'll change the layout to, I think it was at zero. So if I say, okay, let's now change back to the radial. Okay. Now let us see how we can model a reinforced nozzle. Okay. So first check, take this one. So I'll select the reinforced mm -hmm. option. Okay. Now, whenever there is a reinforced nozzle, okay, that will not be standard. Okay. It is made from forging. Some standards also you can procure like FVC catalogs and all. But mostly it will be from forging. Okay. So that time you have to first uh, select this and say actual because you'll be having actual thickness in this case. Okay. Unless we change this value, it will create keep creating problems. Let me change the hub thickness one first. So let us go with here actual thickness. Then we may have ID or OD based based, uh, based on whatever forging you are creating. Both the options you may have okay. ID or OD. You won't be having any schedule. Okay. Size again, you may have to provide in mm. So you can select the mm one. Okay. Or let us keep 10. So actual th thickness that will be the neck thickness of the self-reinforced nozzle. So whatever thickness you are providing here, that is the thickness of the neck. Remember that. Okay.
So we are selecting 25. 25 still that uh, you know thickness is exceeding. So what if we take 30? Okay, but we'll come back to here, you know, because if I don't add the hub thickness, this will not give the meaningful data. Okay, so I need to first complete my designs. I'll just reduce it. I'll go back to 25 because I need to put this data hub thickness. What is my hub thickness? Definitely it will be more than what we have because we need to take care of the reinforcement also. So I'll take 50 hub height consider it as 100 okay then bevel height we can consider as maybe 20 so you can see the sketch see, okay see the sketch how it is getting generated looks like a self enforced nozzle okay so you know let us take the projection a little bit more so that we can have a nozzle getting added on the nozzle. So first let, let me make this more 400. Then we can have the hub height which is uh, 200. Okay. So you can see this nozzle. Okay. Now I want to add another nozzle. Okay. So I'll add add new nozzle that I can call it as N2. Okay. This is a small nozzle. First, I'll have to select here minimum. Then I'll be able to select the, okay, I'll have to select the schedule. Select 160. Then I'll be able to select the size 2 inch. OD best, perfectly fine. Now I want this nozzle connected with another nozzle. Okay, so I'll select this option. Please missing or blank. Okay. So now they have a N1 nozzle okay, on which I want that to be rested. We have the nozzle. This are nozzle also gone. Okay, let us add the nozzle in this itself. So I'll increase the projection to 300. And then I'll be add new nozzle, which is N2. Okay. And it is a two inch nozzle. This is perfectly fine. This is coming on a nozzle N1. Okay. Distance from the surface. Let us see how it is coming. Then we'll be able to give the other dimensions. Again, I should have, okay. So let me first change this to without pad because two inch nozzle. So less data will be there and say, okay. You can see this nozzle. Okay. Now it is coming at zero location. So now let us change that. So angle will change to zero and the distance also will change to 150. 150. Okay. Now you can see it. So this is how you can provide the nozzle on a nozzle. See that? Projection is a little bit higher, but we can change it to 150. Make sense? Okay, so this is how you add that. Let us add one more nozzle on the D chain. Okay, let me just uh, change the visibility of insulation. Yeah, so now I'll add a nozzle on the head. We'll try to see the multiple uh, sides in this also. It's also interesting. Okay, so now this nozzle will be N3. Two nozzles we have already provided. 106, let us take a 6 inch nozzle and take a 80 schedule. OD will be the basis and minimum here. Okay. So, plunge rating is what 
screening problems will change to 300 okay. everything is getting qualified okay so if i keep offset at zero layout zero okay, and say okay it will be coming automatically at the center okay so you don't need to give any angle no dimension but what if I want to give it a little bit offset? Okay. Again, you go to layout. Now, what I have provided is at the center. Okay. I want a nozzle which is vertical. I don't want nozzle like this. Okay. Because very rarely you'll be having nozzle which is uh, you know, having an angle with the dimension. So mostly you'll be having this kind of configuration where it will be shifted. Okay. So you can select that option. And then we'll give the layout reference angle, which will be uh, at which angle you want, like this alpha. So I want at 45 degree, and the offset uh, will be the uh, ID is 1100, so 550, so 300 we can have. Okay. I can give X or Y also. So instead of that, I have given alpha and L. You can use X and Y option also. So I'll say OK. And I'll say OK. You can see. Hillside nozzle getting created. So in this nozzle, it will be completely vertical. You know, and you can attach a piping which is coming from outside that is called hillside nozzle makes sense we can have uh, a uh, man wave flange uh, on that you can provide a nozzle okay so like in this okay. let us uh, add one flange okay in this case we'll be adding a flange which is non standard now this flange okay. i'll uh, select the option I'm not changing the dimensions but i'll be just using a nominal size so in this case we can take it as 10 inch was my nozzle size so i'll take that okay and now i'll say flange connected to a nozzle i'll select this option so what is the parent nozzle it's the N1. See? Okay, now I'll have to change the dimensions. It's a customized plan. So I'll change the dimension of this to see suit here. Okay, so now it's a standard blind flange. So I'll select this option and then as a standard flange. What is the size? It's a 10 inch flange. Okay, 10 dimension. Okay, let me say okay. Now 150 will not be the sufficient rating, it's 300. See, okay, that nozzle has been added, flange has been added. Okay. Now I can, you know, uh, provide one more nozzle on this. You can see that nozzle option is getting active. So now if I add the nozzle, it will be getting added here. So uh, let us say it's two inch nozzle. Okay. And uh, it's, uh, let us name it as N6106. So the position will be 160, two inch OD nominal. Three, okay, three hundred. Okay, you can see there is a nozzle coming on the nozzle. Okay, makes sense. So that you thought also you can do.